A Brief History of Time by Stephen Hawking is a groundbreaking work that explores the nature of the universe, the principles that govern it, and the fascinating concepts of physics that have led to our current understanding of cosmology. The book is an attempt to explain these complex topics to a general audience, delving into the realms of black holes, the Big Bang, and the fundamental laws of nature without relying on advanced mathematics. In the opening sections, Hawking discusses the historical developments in our understanding of the universe. He starts with the ancient beliefs before moving to the heliocentric model proposed by Copernicus, which replaced the Earth-centered universe theory of Ptolemy. Hawking proceeds to cover the work of Galileo, Kepler, and Newton, laying the foundations for classical mechanics and the law of universal gravitation. Hawking then transitions into the realm of modern physics, introducing Einstein's theories of relativity. General relativity revolutionized the way we understand gravity, depicting it as a curvature of space-time caused by mass and energy rather than an invisible force acting at a distance. Hawking describes the significance of Einstein's work, particularly in understanding large-scale cosmic phenomena. The author addresses the nature of the Big Bang and the evolution of the universe. He explains that the universe is expanding based on observations of other galaxies moving away from us. This finding, originally made by Edwin Hubble, suggests that the universe began from an incredibly hot and dense state, which has been expanding and cooling ever since. One key feature of the book is the discussion of black holes, objects with gravitational pull so strong that not even light can escape from them. Hawking describes how black holes are formed from dying stars and introduces the concept of singularities, points in space-time where the known laws of physics break down. He presents his own research on the thermodynamics of black holes, including the intriguing proposal that black holes can emit radiation, now called Hawking radiation, leading to their eventual evaporation. In later chapters, the book grapples with the quest for a quantum theory of gravity, which would unite general relativity with quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is the branch of physics that deals with the microscopic world where particles do not follow the deterministic paths of classical physics, but are defined by probabilities. Hawking discusses how the combination of general relativity and quantum mechanics has led to remarkable predictions, such as the existence of singularities not only at the center of black holes, but also at the beginning of the universe itself. The concept of time is also thoroughly examined. Hawking discusses the arrow of time, which is the direction in which time seems to flow for us. He explores the thermodynamic arrow of time, which is determined by the increase of disorder or entropy, and the psychological arrow of time, which is the direction in which we remember the past, but not the future. One of the most thought-provoking topics in a brief history of time is the discussion of the unification of physics. Hawking describes the long-standing search for a theory of everything, TOE, that would unify the four fundamental forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. The ultimate goal is to find a single theory that can describe all phenomena in the universe. The book also addresses the question of whether the universe has boundaries. Hawking introduces complex ideas like the no-boundary proposal, suggesting that the universe is finite but without boundaries, similar to the surface of a sphere. This implies that the universe does not have a beginning or end in the traditional sense, challenging the need for an initial cause or prime mover, which has implications for theological and philosophical perspectives on the creation of the universe. Towards the end of the book, Hawking dives into the topic of time travel, wormholes, and the possibility of multiple universes, also known as the multiverse theory. He contemplates whether the laws of physics allow for the possibility of traveling backwards or forwards in time, and whether this could lead to paradoxes. In the closing chapters, Hawking reflects on the impact of scientific discovery on the human condition. He emphasizes the importance of scientific knowledge and its role in shaping our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Hawking asserts that despite the complexity and mystery of the universe, it's possible for us to understand it to a significant degree through scientific inquiry. The book concludes with thoughts on the future of cosmology 
and the fundamental questions that remain unanswered. Hawking acknowledges that while we have made significant strides in understanding the cosmos, there is still much to learn. He maintains a sense of optimism about humanity's capacity to unravel the mysteries of the universe and contemplates the ultimate quest to understand the mind of God as he metaphorically refers to the complete set of physical laws governing the universe. A Brief History of Time is a significant work because it makes these profound and complex scientific concepts accessible to a wide audience, prompting readers to ponder the nature of reality, the origins of the universe, and the laws that govern it. The book has inspired countless individuals to take an interest in cosmology and has solidified Stephen Hawking's legacy as one of the most brilliant theoretical physicists of our time. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.